If you have watched our show for any length of time the last couple of years, you've seen a familiar face month after month, and that's Cindy Deering at Cindy's Choice. And if there's one thing you've learned about her, it is that she is a people person. So when she found out that we could talk out here on the porch, you jumped at the chance. Forget about Skype. Yes, I am <laughs> Skype and Zoomed out. So thank you so much that I could be here live in person today, Julie. So the sun's going to beat down on us, but we don't care because we can at least see each other's faces. Fresh and that's air. part of what you wanted to kind of share and educate with people this morning is that your business, if you will, at Cindy's Choice is all about that same thing, this relationship building, not just with you, but with the community at large. Yes. And, you know, it's operational and relational. There, there needs to be a balance there. Most of your business owners are very operational. If they want to succeed and keep the doors open right now more than ever, they need to be very operational. But And they're not comfortable with self-promotion. The, you think everybody's comfortable with that, but that's just because that's what's in our face. Mm -hmm. A lot of business owners are not comfortable with, with self-promotion. I'm not comfortable with self-promotion. Right. That's why I promote others. I right. want to find the good out there and promote it and encourage the community. Right. And uh, they don't have time to plug into the community. Right. And it's very hard to afford that person to do that for you, especially right now in COVID times. Right. And that's what Cindy's Choice does. We are onboarding more and more live community liaisons, mm -hmm. uh, just kind, loving people that want to get out and connect on behalf of these businesses and help people know that these are integrity-centric businesses that really do care. Right. And by being a part of Cindy's Choice, they're allowing us to get out and do good so in the I can, community. You'll have to forgive me. I didn't bring my sunglasses out here, <laughs> and the sun's <laughs> coming up, and I'm not that good of a squinter. We so need our shades. I'll just pretend like I'm on a mission to seek land and have my hand over my eyes. But um, we were talking a little bit personally, the two of us. You mentioned that you don't like to promote yourself. It's hard for me, too, and yet here I have the job I have. But what... I had a time a few years ago where I was in a doctor's office with one of my children and I said, please, you've got to help me because I don't know what I don't know. I with say the, that all the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I coined the phrase, but the but businesses are so busy keeping their own selves afloat that they might not even know what their options are for getting involved with the community and that's where you come into play. You're so right, Julie, because 40% of businesses are profitable, 30% break even, 30% are actually losing money. That was before COVID. Mm. Those statistics were there. And, and this, and like I said, in there are self-promoting times. We think that that's, you know, that that's what everybody does now, but they don't. Right. And uh, reaching those people that aren't out there plugged into the community and finding those businesses is difficult, but we're finding them because our liaisons, I tell them, cultivate and demonstrate. If you get out there and you cultivate authentic relationships, demonstrate who we are, then people want to be a part of it. Right. And so that it's so that seg segues me into like these COVID times are propelling Cindy's Choice. Mm -hmm. And I want that for others. And I was sharing with you earlier, Julie, um, my my experience literally five years ago in this humid, horrible heat, I was living on the streets. And when I say that out loud to you right now, I'm like, whoa, was mm -hmm. that really me? Mm -hmm. and, and it's that perspective that I had, though, to get through that and get to where I'm at right now is helping me just propel through well, COVID. And I, I want to encourage people with you know, with that perspective. And we can live in a world, we don't all necessarily, but you know it's very easy to, where image is everything. And so if you're social media savvy, what you see is always the perfect image that's presented. And yes. we all know that no one's life is perfect, but it's hard to, to show the, the, the chinks and the armor, right? To right. people. It, so when you can talk to somebody who's, who's overcome a hurdle, Whatever the hurdle is, you have your hurdle, somebody else has his or her hurdle. Exactly. But having that camaraderie to talk about it, and I think once you say it, what you've overcome, I think you find such freedom in it, don't you, Cindy? Oh my goodness, I always tell people I have to sort out loud. Yeah. <laughs> once I get it out, I don't really need a response most of the time, just getting it out and owning it mm -hmm. really helps me so much. And then and you, you hit on getting things out, something we have to be careful right now is there's a difference in authentic authenticity and transparency 
And we have to be careful because there's, you know, in social media times, people are being too transparent and it comes off wrong. Mm. You can be, you, you've got to share enough. And I sure want to encourage people to reach out for help when you need it, especially during these times. But that authenticity of just being who you are, owning it, and then, but, but moving on with the right perspective, which is a perspective of appreciation and purpose. Right. Well, I am authentically hot. I know. <laughs> it's like it's getting steamy out here. <laughs> and I'm sure people are sick of me uh, doing like this. And your pink jacket has got, got to be making you hot. So let me go ahead and give you the information for where you can find Cindy uh, Deering at Cindy's Choice, her website there. Uh, she is just as charming on the phone and in person as you find her to be here. Her mission is to help you grow and expand your business and feel even more included and involved in this wonderful community that we call home. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Julie. We're back after this. James, your car was pulling to the right and you came to Budget Break seeking alignment. What happened? They fixed it for the best.